TLE6. Home Economics. Pattern Drafting and Cutting Fabric for Household Linens. Pattern Drafting and Cutting Fabric for Household Linens. Lesson 7. Learning Competency. Code TLE6 EG DOS D DOS 8, Week 4. 1. Drafts Pattern for Household Linens. 2. Steps in Drafting Pattern. Lesson Objectives. 1. Follow the steps in drafting pattern for household linens. 2. Draft patterns for pillowcase slash table napkin slash hand towel. 3. Illustrate the types of fabric folds. 4. Explain the tips in laying the pattern and cutting the fabric. 5. Discuss the tips in cutting the fabric and transferring sewing lines. 6. Demonstrate the steps in cutting the fabric. Let's be informed. The test of your abilities and skills is best shown in how you can create or produce something based on the knowledge you acquired. Now that you have prepared your fabric, you are now ready to draft your pattern. How to draft a pattern for a pillowcase 1. Measure your pillow at home. Get the length and width. On your pattern paper, draw vertical line, which is the width measurement, and horizontal line which is the length measurement. 3. Extend lines to form a rectangle. 4. Add 5 8 inches. Seam allowances along the 3 sides of the pattern and 2 inches on the opening. 5. Cut the pattern. How to draft a pattern for a table napkin 1. On your pattern paper, draw a square measuring 16 inches x 16 inches 2. Add 5 8 inch allowance on all sides of the pattern Three. Cut the pattern How to draft a pattern for a hand towel 1. On a pattern paper, draw a rectangle measuring 15 inches wide x 25 inches long. 2. Add 5 8 inch allowance on all sides of the pattern. 3. Cut the pattern. Types of fabric fold 1. Lengthwise fold The fabric is folded in the middle, in such a way that the two selvages meet at the edge and are together, opposite the fold. 2. Crosswise fold the fabric is folded in the middle but the two selvages are not together, rather, the selvages are on the opposite side of the fold. In this fold, the two raw edges meet at the edge and are together opposite the fold. 
Tips in laying the pattern on the fabric 1. Determine which type of fabric fold you will use to maximize the use of the fabric. 2. Fold the fabric with the wrong side out and lay it on the table. 3. Make a trial placement of all the pattern pieces to economize the use of the fabric. Pin all parts of the pattern on the cloth. Make sure the pins are placed at the right angles to the edge of the pattern, 1 inch from the edge. About 6 inches apart for straight edges. For curved edges, the pins should be nearer each other. 5. Avoid lifting the cold while putting the pins on their places. It might change the position of the grain line. Cutting the fabric and transferring sewing lines. 1. Cut the large pieces first. 2. Cut along the edges of the pattern. 3. Hold the fabric with your left hand. Do not hold the pattern and material up nor place your hand under the fabric while cutting. This may stretch the fabric out of shape if cut in this manner. 4. For long spaces, such as straight side seam, Use long strokes. Five. For short spaces, curved spaces use short strokes. Six. With the use of a tracing wheel and dressmaker's carbon paper so that all markings are on the wrong side of the fabric. Seven. Fold each piece together with the pattern until you are ready to work on it. 8. Before removing the pattern and the pin from the fabric, study each piece carefully so you will know what part of the project it is and what you will do. Steps in cutting the fabric for household linens 1. Fold the cloth on its lengthwise grain with the wrong side out. 2. Lay and pin the pattern on the cloth. 3. Mark all stitching and folding lines. 4. Mark all allowances. 5. Cut the cloth. Six. Transfer all marks to the other side of the cloth. Let's explain. 1. How do we draft the patterns for a pillowcase and table napkin? 2. How do we fold the fabric when cutting? 3. Why do we need to hold the fabric while cutting? 4. 
What kind of stroke is used in cutting long spaces? Let's remember. In order to ensure that the project will come out properly cut, the following procedures must be mastered. Folding the fabric. Laying the pattern on the fabric. Cutting the fabric. And transferring sewing lines. Let's do together. Draft pattern for the chosen project. Use some fabric scraps and illustrate the types of fabric folding. Illustrate how to lay, pin the pattern, mark, and cut the fabric. Cut fabrics for the chosen household linen. Reinforcement Aside from household linens, using scraps of cloth, do other projects that can be sold in the community, like pot holders, doormats, rags, stuffed toys or bags. Thank you for watching and listening. Please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for more content update.